What's happening, YouTube? Uh, back with another video, another reaction video. Uh, we just did Michael Thomas. I didn't know he was that good. My apologies. Respectfully, I didn't know how good he was. But now I know. Uh, he came in at number five. So somebody actually listened to what I said. They liked, they comment, and they subscribed. And that comment was a big deal to me because this comment said, and a matter of fact, I'm going to bring the comment up right here. He said, Julio Jones is the best player or the best receiver in the league. So I've actually seen Julio Jones play. I used to study Julio Jones myself. He's great. So what we're going to do is together, especially for the ones who like, comment, and subscribe, and the new people that's coming on board, um, we're going to do, you know, a reaction to Julio Jones 2020 highlights uh, on his uh, top 100. He came in at number 11. So, we're going to see if he earned at number 11. Michael Thomas earned his five. Let's say if Julio should have been higher or lower on the list. And uh, again, like, comment, subscribe. Um, when you comment, tell me what you're going to be reacting to next. I take everything into consideration. Nothing's exempt, nobody's exempt. So, let's go ahead and get to this video. You're the best I've ever seen. Uh, he looks like a freak. He's the best I've ever seen. I'm serious. So explosive, he got no weaknesses. Number 11 this year. Number nine last year, so he dropped spots. Do you have any receivers that you watched? I mean, definitely best of Robbie Anderson is low key nice. He nice. He did his thing. I ain't gonna hold you. He really, he really went for bad. That boy be cutting up. Yeah, Florida boy be cutting up. You know what they say? You know down south they got you know down in Florida speed. You go to Texas, them boys is big. You know. They don't really say too much about up north. And I live in Baltimore. They don't, they don't say too much about. They don't, they don't really say too much about us. I mean, we do got a few players, you know, that went to the league, though. You know, you got your Tavon Allison, you got your Terrence West. You know, Shaky went to the league. Shaky Smith, from y'all know. Look these people up. These guys, you know, they had a little bit of everything. But uh, we here for Julio right now. Dang, definitely Julio. Who's your favorite wide receiver to watch? I watch a lot of Julio. He's a beast. Good release. Man, that dude's a dog. He is, is Sick a release. dog. He's just a true dog. He's like a, like a real life alien almost. Uh, he looks like a freak. He really has every back shoulder that any receiver has from small to big. Here's your game. There's Julio crossing around. Cut. This is absolutely insane here. Unbelievable. Some of the stuff he's in. What a lot of people don't know is they look at it, they be like, oh man, I can go out there and do that. I can play the game. You don't know. That five to 10 yard dig. That drag route, that post route, them linebackers and safeties ain't finna play with you. So you better get yourself together because them boys land shit down. Yeah, I said it. They land shit down. So don't think you're gonna sit there and watch TV. You're gonna sit there, you know, eating your, eating your cakes all day, eating your candy, all your chips and shit. And you're gonna sit there and tell, oh, he's a bum, man. He in the league. Where you at? You sit on the couch doing nothing. What's nut plus 10? Nothing. But I digress. Just, it's a mommy daddy thing. <laughs> God give him ability. Out of bounds, they say a catch. Julio Jones. I want to see a replay on this. Miraculously, he did get it. With that, he got the work ethic. Like he ain't got no food on his plate. He knows how to separate his job from his life, and that's something I've always respected about him. Definitely lead by example. Jones, incredible catch. This is Julio Jones. He come and work every day, so. I'm not going to come and put my best foot forward every day. Last year, only one of the top 17 leading receivers entered this. So let's look at this list right here, all right? This is for last year. This is 2019 leaders. So Michael Thomas was number one on that list. Julio came in at two. Michael Thomas is still, somehow he's still 
slid in this video somehow. Somehow. Can't God Mike slid in here. Mm. Had to start watching more of him. Definitely, for certainly. He's an over the age of 30, Julio Jones. In year number nine, Jones finished second only to Michael Thomas. Julio, Mike Thomas, uh, Mike Evans. It's a toss up, man. Uh, me, Chris Godwin, or Michael Thomas. Julio's always in there, too. Julio's always in there. Julio just set the Falcons franchise receiving record on a 50 yard touchdown catch. See how that boy just ran in the tunnel? He made it look easy. He caught the pass. He said, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm just going. I'm ahead to the line. I'm ahead out. That's what he did. That boy head out. He just had it out. He, he gone. It's, it's just that easy. You know? Yes. He's the best hand down. Best receiver in the game. Nobody mess with Julio. Let's check him out. Okay. I'm going to say something. I respect Darius Slick. For every person that he come on here for, every person that he nominated, he show love. He, he show him. You know, he really... Tell the truth. He speak on how he really feel. He give everybody credit with this dude. That's a sign of a real man there. You feel me? Learn about it. Bam, bam. 30 plus right now. He's still running past folks. That's going to take the shot for Julio. Over the shoulder catch. My goodness. His route running, his explosiveness gives him a big advantage against opponents. A lot of guys are great route runners, but it's a difference when you see Julio because you feel him. He's like, okay, he climbing on me. Julio's climbing on me. Oh, man. Julio does a great job on the route. He gets on top of the corner. Every defense that goes against him knows that they have to know where he is on the field because at any moment he can go off and make a big play. In 2019, number 11 became the fastest player in NFL history to reach 11,000 yards receiving. Best receiver still. And years to go. Yeah. He ain't messed with yet. Not yet. And the thing about it is, he ain't not arrogant about it, but he know he's the best. That's a very Julio Jones is very humble. I ain't, I don't think I've ever seen Julio Jones celebrate. Julio Jones, if 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 act like you've been there was a person, it'd either be Larry Fitzgerald or Julio Jones. One of the two. Act like you've been there. And another thing that I didn't say, Larry Fitzgerald said he the best. That's a big deal. So for anybody to know who Larry Fitzgerald is, y'all should already know. That's a big deal coming from the GOAT. Well, one of the goals. I don't want you to term loosely, but he up there. He's probably a GOA. He ain't get the T yet, but he's there. The best I ever seen. I'm serious. No weaknesses in his man. But uh but my personal opinion, I personally feel like uh Julio should have been higher on the list. Uh I mean if you're doing numbers, then Mike has him obviously. Can't go Mike got him. So we we gonna get at the mic, but Julio definitely earned his number eleven. I personally feel like should have earned higher, but you know who am I? You know I'm doing a reaction. I'm reacting to it, so you know. Um, let me know below where you think Julio should have been. Let me go if if need be. Tell me on this one where you think Mike should have actually been. Tell me your favorite receiver. Tell me your favorite player. Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. You know, and after that. You know, just take a few seconds to like, comment, and subscribe, you know. Get me lit. You know, I'm here for I'm here for y'all, I'm here for the people. You know. So yeah. We're gonna close this out. I'm gonna go ahead and say, it. Julio, you're special. You got that? You're special. But uh I'll be hitting y'all in the head with something soon. Be ready. And I'm out. Oh.